How's it picking up? Pretty good? Oh. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, it's, it's, pick, it's uh, great. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Oh, good. Okay. Let's get this uh, interview underway, if uh, that's okay with you. Get this party started right now. I'm okay. Ready. All right, this is Joseph Allen. I'm speaking with Lynchburg's favorite son, country music star Phil Vassar. His new hit song, Don't Miss Your Life, is available on iTunes. And as soon as you hear this song, I guarantee you'll race to your computer and download right away. Phil, thank you for joining me. Well, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing just great. How are you? Man, I'm good. I just uh, cleaned the coffee up off the floor. I just knocked in my kitchen here. I just knocked the whole thing. Anyway, that's what I'm doing this morning. Got the kids to school, and all is well. Very good, very good. Well, Phil, in my studio, I've got three bobbleheads that I'm looking at. <laughs> yep. I, I've got... I told, my, I told my mom, Joe, I said, I said, you know, Mom, I've got a bobblehead now. Yeah, that's what you know you've got. You've done okay. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Funny. So, so one of these bobbleheads, Calvin Falwell, who brought minor league baseball to Lynchburg. He's got his big mm -hmm. king of baseball plaque, looking very satisfied. Yes. Another one of is uh, Brandon Inge swinging his baseball bat. I love it. And Phil Vassar looking very laid back. Like yeah. Having a great time. Those other guys deserve bobbleheads, I think, more than, uh, more than I do. But anyway, it's just uh, uh, it's kind of funny to get, to get a bobblehead. They sent, uh, it was funny because they sent a bunch of them to the house. And I'm like, what is this? And I opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> I just started laughing so hard. My kids were there. It was funny. That's funny stuff. Well, you're looking very laid back in that bobblehead, but we do know that uh, you're actually a very hardworking guy. Uh, last yeah. year, you started your own record label. Tell me about that. I did, man, and it's. Uh, I did. You know, I was. Uh, I've been in the middle of five mergers. I was at Arista. Arista folded into BMG to Sony, Universal, Universal South. And after the fifth one, I said, look, man, this is just out of control. It's just the way the, uh, the, the corporate structure and, and the way labels are going, it's just there. It's not the same as it used to be. So it was just a great time for me to sort of, uh, you know, kind of branch out and start my own entertainment group. And that's what I've done. And, and I'm working with a lot of folks now. It's really, really, really cool. So it's, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a hard first year, you know, but it's, uh, this year's already, you know, really I'm seeing the the benefits from doing that. So it's, it's a great time, I'm telling you. And uh, what artist have you signed to Rodeo Wave? Well, you know what? The, we're working on, the, you know, we're working other artists through our promotion company. We're, we're managing other artists. We're, you know, we're working with a bunch of different guys. We've got a couple of new acts, uh, you know, Brother Trouble coming out in, uh, in a couple of months. And, you know, we've been working with Neil McCoy. We did, we've been working his last record. And, and uh, there's just a bunch of stuff going on. This year's going to be looks like it's going to be a crazy, crazy year. We're going to have a a lot more uh, a lot more work than I thought, <laughs> you know. But that's good. <laughs> oh, very good. A little later, I'll ask you if there are any uh, projects you'd like to promote. But uh, right now, on to the Miller Home Benefit concert, which is coming up April 5th. How many years have you done this concert? Well, I think this is the fifth year. But we, uh, you know, I've had special guests every year. It's been really fun. You know, I've had. You know, Rodney did it. A little Big Town was last year. I've had, you know, some uh, some other folks, but I've got uh, Jason Michael Carroll coming with me this year. I'm also uh, I'm also doing a reunion of my band that I played in around the uh, around Virginia with called This. So all the guys in that band were getting together. We're going to do a bunch of our '80s and '90s classic hits. <laughs> so we're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, definitely looking forward to that. What keeps you coming back year after year to do this concert? Well, it's coming home. I mean, it's, you know, Lynchburg is home, and and it's just, uh, man, it's just great to get home and see my family and my my friends and, and uh, you know, get to do this every year. I do a, a little acoustic night the night before that raises a lot of money, and, and we do, uh, and of course, the concert. You know, all the proceeds go to the Miller Home, and, uh, you know, Miller Home's been around for a long, long, long time, and, and uh, you know, just seeing these, these ladies grow up from, from girls to to young women and go to college and do all these things and it's just a I tell you what it's one of the most gratifying things I've ever done and you know having daughters myself I tell you it's just a it's one of the coolest things I get to do and uh, I'm blessed I get to come home and do it and, and and also see my friends and see my family at the same time 
A, a little birdie told me that uh, you used to work with the Miller home. Is that correct? Well, you know, when I was a kid, when I was little, you know, we, my youth group and my, uh, we would go over there and sing every year for Christmas. We would do a little, we'd go over there and sing. And, uh, you know, just always thought, wow, you know, this is, you know, I'm, you know, these kids, you know, don't have their parents and all that stuff. I just thought, wow, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it made me count my blessings every year. And, you know, as we started to look for a charity to come back home to every year, my sister and my mom said, what about the Miller home for girls? And I said, well, is that still around? And they said, yeah. So anyway, they went and met with Stacy over there and, and Stormy. And, and, you know, it's just been a, I tell you what, it's just been one of the coolest things. And I think we really do so much for each other. You know, and I think what we do really helps them. And, you know, just being a part of that really helps me. I mean, I think it's, it's just a, it's a blessing every day. I really, really love it. And, uh, you know, it's a great organization. And, Anyway, it's fun to do these concerts, man. Everybody ought to come do these. This, this is going to be it's going to be a rocking night. I can tell you that. <laughs> and I understand that the concert is in a new location this year. Uh, well, we used to do it every year at EC Glass, mm -hmm. and um, we just thought this uh, the new phase two, um, you know, would be just a kind of a, a, a different different place to try it out, and you know, and it's a you know it's, it's a it's kind of a rocking venue. So I think that's <laughs> what the concert's going to it's going to be a really cool cool deal. I understand that uh, when you were living in Lynchburg way back when, you worked at a little place called El Cabrito's. Well, I, I never worked there. I ate there all the time. Ate there all the time. <laughs> I okay. Might, hey, I might as well have worked there. I wish I had. I'm probably going to save money on food. But, but you know, James and those guys, I still go back there every time I come home. And, and, and uh, you know, actually when I moved to Nashville, I did a little commercial. I did a little um, jingle for El Cabrito's. And... You know, it's just uh, you know, James does a lot for the community too with his with his uh, with his charity and and you know, just a great guy. And you know, again, it's one of the reasons I love coming home. I get to see these guys and friends that I grew up with. And man, it's you know, you can go all over the world, but man, there's nothing like home. Nothing. Amen to that. I think we actually still have a copy of that jingle, and we uh, bring it out every once in a while when we're advertising for, awesome. for James. <laughs> He's so awesome. What a great guy. Oh, yeah. Now, as a songwriter, could you tell us some of the hits that uh, you've written for other performers? Well, you know, the Star Spangled Banner is still a big hit for me, and I, I do that. And, um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I've, got a, I've got the, uh, you know, I do a lot of writing, and I've got the new David Nail single. I've got, I've got, uh, I've written songs for Alan Jackson and Tim McGraw and Kenny Chesney and Jody Messina, all these people, and I've been just really lucky. I've had a lot of hits um, with all those folks, and it kind of really got me my start. And, you know, I still love you know, writing songs. I mean, I was writing a song this morning at 6 o'clock <laughs> you know, before I got my kids up. So it was it was just, you know, whenever you have an idea, you go to, the, I go to my piano, I go to my guitar, whatever, I start playing it, and... For me, that's just the most therapeutic thing I can ever do. I just love it. And then, uh, you know, Don't Miss Your Life is, you know, so I'm really, really proud of this new song. It's my uh, latest top it song. just went top 40 this week. So it's exciting. Exciting times. Now, what do you think defines a hit song? Is it a matter of chart placement or just how it connects with people or maybe something else entirely? Well, I think a little bit of both. You know, like you said, I just think that, you know, of course, you know, there. <laughs> They can manipulate things pretty pretty good these days to make a song look like a bigger hit than it is. But, uh, you know, a hit is just a song that really impacts people. I think whenever you have a song that people go to their computer, like you said, and download it and want to listen to it and go, man, this is a great song. I want to play it for my friends. I want to let my kids hear it or my kids, <laughs> kids say they want to let my dad hear it or whatever it is. Something that translates into, you know, some it, it emotes. It just... But uh, whether it's a funny song, you know, whether it's solo cup or some goofy song like that, whether it's gr which is well written and fun, and or if it's don't miss your life, which you know tugs at your heartstrings and makes you want to go hug your kids. I mean, there's so many different kinds of songs, and that's the cool thing about what we do. You know, every day I get up and you know uh, I'll write a different kind of song. It's about a love song, or it's about you know breakup song, or if it's happy or sad or whatever it is. It's just a Man, it's just great to be able to write something that folks want to hear. Are there any any projects that you're currently working on that you'd like to promote? 
Well, I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> working like crazy on this record, on the new record, and recording new songs, and man, it's just a, it's a great time right now. I tell you, I'm really, really lucky. Any idea when that new project's going to hit shelves? I think the end of summer, you know, the end of summer, it's going to be out, I think, uh, I'm looking at August. It's August, September time, right around the end of summer, or early fall. Oh, very nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Well, me too. I can't wait to hear, for you to hear it. Well, Phil, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Oh, we my are, pleasure, my friend. We're looking forward to the Miller Home Benefit Concert. That's Thursday, April 5th, 7.30 at Phase 2 in Lynchburg. I'm way, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. i got my mom and my sister's in the kitchen. This is, this is great. Everybody's down from Lynchburg right now, so we're having a good spring break. I can't wait to get back up in a couple of weeks. Thanks for having me on this morning, Joe. Oh, thank you very much. And, of course, don't forget Phil's new hit single, Don't Miss Your Life, available now on iTunes. Any final thoughts, Phil? Well, um, I appreciate it. I can't wait to get home. I'm excited about it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on. We're going to have a good time. Oh, thanks for talking with me, Phil. My pleasure, Joe. Thank you, man. And have a great day, brother. And you as well. Talk Thank to you man. later.